When I started this video, it was going to be about some plans for a uh, vertical access wind turbine using this uh, aluminium stator that I have got, but after I noticed a couple of problems with it, I ended up having to fix it, and that's basically how the video ended up. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Sunday, and uh, I remembered I'd had one of these in my shed for a while. So I'm thinking about doing something with this, maybe a vertical access wind turbine with a one metre shaft built into a sort of cage type setup. I know I haven't finished the other one yet and I'm not going to go too heavily in depth about this now, I just want to show you the plans. And this turned up in a post yesterday. Uh, I'd had the stator for quite a while because I bought a whole set. I broke one of these rotors and that was to replace that, so now I've got another rotor. If I want to make a vertical axis wind turbine, I can do it, and I would probably do it without, ultra, without altering the stator too much, because there's going to be a slower RPM. With regards to how I would do it, I'm still interested in the idea of welding a bearing into this, uh, and that obviously has 50 mil, but we've got a bigger gap on the outside, so if I could find a bearing that takes up the whole space of the gap, does that make sense? So whereas the bearing before was welded onto this rim, uh, if I could weld a bearing somehow that fitted in the whole thing, that would be a lot more substantial. I still think you can weld bearings. I know people say you shouldn't, but I refuse to believe that you can't. Also, we have this old rotter, which was once a beautiful young fairy, but was battered to death by the beast flames. Uh, I'm not sure, looking at it from here, if it's bent or not, but I think it's safe to say that probably the bearing is probably Kaputsky. It's been absolutely savage. I'll tell you what, out of interest, I'm going to go get some squirty stuff and put it in it and leave it for a while. And this is the chosen one from Toolstation WD-40 knockoff. So obviously I think that bearing is complete toast, but in the interest of having a good laugh, let's give it a good juice up. Let's get the other side. Yep, and we'll leave that for a bit, see if it unseizes. Just giving it a second spray. Left it about an hour. Doubt very much it'll shift it, but... Hey-ho, you never know. A bit more for good measure. So I'm just having a look at this, there's a couple of places where we've got, uh, there's two problem areas. There's one. Let's go over here. Try and move it slowly around and we should see the other break somewhere coming up. There it is, I went past it. Believe it or not, I think that's only one break, if that makes sense. So hopefully it could be connected together quite easily. So yeah, there's two spots that need to be repaired. One there where I think there's one break. And one there, again where there's one break, but you can see a couple of wires have had a bit of a row with each other. So yeah, I need to do that. So we've got this one which is it snapped here and the wire it's supposed to connect to is let me just try pulling it out. Oh I think that's gonna be quite tricky to get out. I'll show you from the side angle. See it there? In here. Right. See how this goes. Well, it's really wedged in there, so I don't know if it's going to come out. I'm going to flip it over. See, it's wedged in there very tight.
But yeah, we've got that wire out. So we need to now connect this one and this one, which should be fairly easy. Now you can see the other damage there. I'm not sure yet if we'll have to slightly separate those wires. Let's have a go at that now. Just gotta be so careful with these blades. Right, I don't think those wires are interfering with each other. So I don't think that's gonna be el problemo. So, so now this one should be easier unless it reveals more damage. See, we can live with that damage there. Now we need to join those two together. <clears throat> That didn't go on too bad. I can't be bothered to try and solder it because it's very frustrating trying to solder the aluminium wire. I'm going to try and deal with those two bits there. See the scratches? It's hard to focus in on it. That's better. I just need something there to separate those two. Drink to deal with that shenanigans there. <laughs> Shrink, my little beauty. No, I refuse. Thank you. And that repair should hold fast. So, on to the next little beast. Which is here. Right, that's where I wanted it. Is it gonna stick? Stick, you beast! Stick! Right. I'm gonna get that covered up, really. That's pretty good, now I need to make the connections. 
nice when these come out of there. Come on, little baby. Come on, little baby. And how are we going to do this little number? These two are joined together like so, my friends. Uh, so let's trim off the extra. Of that one. Now the long-winded uh, scrapage of the plasticky stuff. Well, so I think what's best with this is just, uh, we have to do this, just take your time. Concentrating hard. Right, let's have a bit of heat shrink on that. Do 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 It's a bit chunky than I'd like, but I don't have any intermediary pieces. That's very good. So that's that one. And let's just have a little tickle, see if that goes over there. What I'm going to do now, and I'll time lapse this, I'm going to inspect each coil and then I think I'm just going to wrap some tape around it. If it's okay, because I'm planning to use it as is. <laughs> 